Uh, basically, we're stewards of lakes, which means we help educate the public about invasive species in local water bodies, about preventing them coming in, places they can check their boats, uh, more common places where they would find them, other lakes in the area where they have them, that sort of thing. There's a bunch of different types. The more common one around here is Eurasian water milfoil, which is basically, it's, it's an aquatic plant that has leathery leaves, um, well, leaf, feathery leaves, um, and it's, it's found in a few of the lakes around here in the Saranac chain. Uh, they actually just found variable leaf milfoil in Lake Placid, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, they weren't sure if they would get it or not, but they did. Uh, basically, it doesn't have any native competitors, so it ends up just creating really thick mats and it blocks out the sun and out competes other plants and ends up eventually killing the entire ecosystem. Uh, and it also ruins it for recreational boating because you can't go through, you can't swim through it, it's hard to paddle through. Uh, we are here at Second Pond, we're at Lake Placid, um, Tupper Lake on Saturdays. We do uh, St. Regis seven days a week, uh, Buck Pond Campground in Osgood. I think that's it. We just recently started being at the, uh, the Lake Placid Public Launch where they found the variable leaf milfoil also. How much in terms of invasives do you find on a daily basis? Uh, it depends on the launch really. Um, here at Second Pond there's a big there's a big mat of it. It's basically all along the shore so when boats come through their wakes will cause it to break apart and float up so we'll find it pretty commonly when boats are coming out. It just washes up and then when they put it on their trailer it gets stuck. So we are, definitely have to watch for it making sure that doesn't come out of here and go somewhere else. Are people surprised when you tell them that they have invasives stuck to their boats? Yeah. Um, it's becoming more common that people know about it, but um, we're st definitely still catching people who are kind of surprised, and a lot of people who even say they come here all the time don't even know this lake has invasives. So.